even a name that is above every name. That at the name of Jesus Christ, every knee should bow of things in heaven, in earth, and under the earth. So it doesn't matter how high in the heavenlies they are. We speak in the name of Jesus, they have to obey. They have to obey. We don't have to come close enough. The Bible doesn't say we should come close. We give the word wherever they are. They hear and they obey. Even when you start praying from here. Irrespective of where the trouble is. They hear you. So that's why they are not a factor. Can, can you see why they're not a factor? That's why they, they, there was no need for, for, the, for, the, for the writers of the New Testament, the epistles particularly, to devote chapters. And that's what some people expected to see, that if this thing were that important, um, they should have devoted large portions to this. Why would they devote large portions after Jesus told us they've been taken care of? We are seated together with Christ. So Satan and the courts of hell are no, they're not a factor at all. In fact, when you're told that something, that demons are responsible for anything, you should understand that that makes it easier. Because, because they understand authority. Whenever I know that demons are responsible for something, it makes me happier because to me, that makes it easier. I always prefer it when demons are responsible. <laughs> because that's quick, it's quick response. They understand the message. Sometimes I cast out devils by using my head. I say, mm hmm. <laughs> they get the signal. They understand it, it's easier. You know, some people think it's harder, you know, because they say, it's demons are responsible. Yeah, it's demons. These devils are very wicked. <laughs> we are not using our own authority that we got by ourselves. We are using the authority given to us by Jesus Christ himself. And he didn't say if I have faith. No. No. It was not based on any condition. Is by who I am. Was seated together with Christ. It's by who I am. If there's a devil there, even if I'm feeling sleepy, I say, get out. He will go. It depends on what you think about Jesus. The name of Jesus. Look at it. Let me, let me just give you an idea. You know, my dad was teaching one time. And he said to us, he was trying to explain something about authority. He said, we were in a family gathering. He said, if one of the young ones comes to you to say, daddy is calling you. He said, even if he was joking, and you weren't sure whether or not he was joking. You must answer. He said, because he is not telling you in his own name. He's using daddy's name. He said, first go and answer. Say, daddy, are you calling me? Then let me say, I am not calling you. See, he's teaching us authority. That's the way Jesus taught his disciples. He said, the Pharisees sit on Moses' seat. Therefore, I say unto you, whatever they ask you to do, do it, but don't do what they do. He says, for they say and do not. See? He says, the Pharisees, they, he said, they don't keep the word, but they represent Moses. They represent the law. He said, therefore, whatever they tell you to do, do it. Otherwise, you'll be breaking the law. Because they represent Moses. He said, but don't act like them, because they, don't, they say and they do not. Can you see it? 
And that was how the Spirit of God taught me about authority. The very first crusade, the miracle crusade where I preached, because the very first one I organized, my friend, I asked my friend to preach. But the one where I preached, this was how the Lord prepared me for it. He took me to this scripture. The Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. Therefore I say unto you, whatever they say unto you to do, do it. But don't do what they do. So he also said, my children, they sit on whose seat? Jesus' seat. Forget about how am I acting? How am I behaving? How am I, how am I? I sit on Jesus' seat. <laughs> Therefore they have been told that whatever I say to them to do, they must do. Just like Jesus said to the disciples, leave the Pharisees' actions to me, but obey them. Same way the de demons understand, that's a spiritual principle. So even if they're accusing you, how can you cast me out? You that you don't tell the truth. How can you cast me out? You liar. <laughs> you say, no, I sit in Jesus' seat. I order you to come out. They will leave. Is he supposed to judge us? He said, okay, okay. Let me show you scripture. Zechariah chapter 3. Let's read from verse 1. You see something now. Zechariah chapter 3 from verse 1. And he showed me Joshua, the high priest, standing before the angel of the Lord and Satan standing at his right hand to resist him. What's he trying to do? He's there to accuse. Okay, next verse. And the Lord said unto Satan, The Lord rebuked thee, O Satan. Even the Lord that had chosen Jerusalem rebuked thee. Is not this a, a branch plucked out of the fire? He's there to resist him. And what does the Lord say? Joshua, you see now, if you were doing the right thing, would Satan be here to resist you? Was that what he said? No! He turned to Satan and said, The Lord rebuke you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Say, so how can you cast me out? You that you didn't pay your tithe. How can you cast me out? Then some of the brethren there hearing that say, ah, the devil said he couldn't cast him out because he doesn't pay his tithe. What did Jesus say about demons? Demons are with Satan. He said, when he speaketh, he speaketh natively as a liar. He cannot tell the truth. Satan doesn't tell the truth. He cannot. He said, it is not in him to tell the truth. He can't tell the truth. He naturally cannot tell the truth. So I hear people casting out devils and then they say that. So the devil now said that um, it was 14 years ago that yeah, 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 start telling all the story. Stop where Jesus stopped. Where did he stop? What is your name? That is enough. He says, my name is Legion, for we are many. He can go ahead and say, we are ten of us. And I know that, I cast out devils, I know that sometimes they tell lies. They tell you we are three, and I find they are nine. <laughs> so I only use the one that, just, what is your name? That's what Jesus asked. He wasn't engaging them. He said, okay, now tell me. You know, some people are casting out devils. They keep the person they're casting out devils for days, consulting with him. <laughs> consulting with him. Tell me exactly when you came here. Tell me exactly when you came here. <laughs> so they've written that down. Okay, what are the things you have done? What are the things you have done? Then they say, I killed three people. I killed three people. I killed three people. I killed three people. I shot one. I conked one. Recording 
what he said. Write it down. He said he shot for. He said he come to me, and he died. And you really believe all those tales the devil is telling you? What did Jesus say about him? That he tells lies. Ask him only the question Jesus asked. What is your name? Is enough. I'm telling him to get out. I'm telling him to get out. Then he said, I'm the one that has been troubling the church. I'm the one that has been troubling the church. Now we continue to trouble the church. Then you say, Okay, okay, okay. So you're the one troubling the church. Yes. Yes. I trouble the church. And you start writing it down. Says the one that's troubling the church. So, so how many of you have been troubling the church? There are ten of us. <laughs> you know, you don't need to get the information from him. Because he's a deceiver. Most likely, he's deceiving you. Once he's saying, I'm the one troubling the church, you are living now. You are living now. They say, I, I will go if my other, my team members will follow me. <laughs> say, who are your team members? They are 15. <laughs> Two of them are pastors. <laughs> way they've caused chaos in certain churches and in certain circles so now instead of the gift of the zoning of spirits we are using what demonic uh, consultations <laughs> he's now telling us he's he's revealing to us we believe him he told me he has 15 people here i believe him i really believe him a devil No, years ago, a man was casting out devils. A man of God casting out devils. Then the devil, after a while of, you know, wrestling, I'm not going, I'm coming out, I'm not going. Then he says, um, Jesus Christ defeated you. He said, no, don't say that again, don't say that again. Then he said it again. The devil said, no, 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 don't say that. Then later on, the devil said, okay, let me just tell you the truth. Let me, det- let me tell you the truth. The truth. <laughs> Can the devil tell him the truth? And you know what? The devil gave him the history, how he fell, and how all these things that, you know, things that we are supposed to be seeing in the Bible, how everything came and how he was defeated, but not completely. You know that man of God actually wrote the story in a book? Satan told him the truth. <laughs> and use the, 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 the statements of the devil that he was casting out as things to warn God's people on things they should be very careful of. You know, a lot of things that people tell us they got from the devil. They tell us the things we should be very careful about. Very careful. If you, if you sleep and you, you wake up with something like this, be careful. If you want to sleep, make sure you don't drink too much water. You might dream this kind of dream. Be careful. If you want to have your bath, make sure that you face this side. Be careful. So we find ourselves becoming very careful about different things because... We don't want demons to come into our lives. Come into our lives. 
demons. <laughs> Wonderful. We have to be very careful. If you find yourself drinking in your dream, then the devil has come into your life. No. A thousand times no. 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 Don't accept those things. We have been placed far above principalities and powers. Far above them. We're far above them. We're far above them. Kindly subscribe, turn on your notification bell, like, comment, and share. Thank you.